Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So on a previous episode, I actually did an auto focus test on the Panasonic J85 using the AFC mode, which stands for autofocus continuous. And I tried out all the major types of autofocus modes that are available. But today I'm gonna to be trying out the AFS and AFF modes. Now the AFS stands for autofocus single, so it tries to stick to a one single point. And then the AFF stands for autofocus flexible, so if there is some movement, it tries to predict where it's gonna go next and then focus that way. Now let's see if these modes work better uh, versus the AFC mode, which is continually trying to focus. And so sometimes that really doesn't work too well. And so I'm gonna do the same thing that I did previously. And so let me show you all the main modes that we actually have. Here are actually the four main modes, just as a refresher. Uh, the first one is actually the face and eye detect, which is the one that I use the most. And uh, let me show you how that works here. So as you can see, it's tracking my eye and my face. And then the second one is the actual tracking. And so you actually choose a point and then it'll track that point, you know. So this is great for anything that has movement and action. And then let's go ahead and go to the 49 area mode. And this one basically chooses the area, it's 49 points. And so you could move this around. And so in this case, I choose my face and it'll go ahead and focus on that point. And then we move over to the custom. So this is very similar to the 49 area, but it's a little different because it covers a different type of range. And so if there's a certain point that you wanna cover right there, you can go ahead and focus right there. And then we also have the one area. And this is great if you just wanna cover one block and you could also increase or decrease that block here as well. And so you uh, have more control in terms of a specific point, just focus there. And then there was another one that I didn't talk about last time, and this is the actual pinpoint one. And so this one allows you to really focus on a specific point. And so you can just move that around and then just focus. And now it focuses on that single point. So this is AFS. Uh, so these are all the modes. Now, whenever I use AFF, it'll be the same. So right now it's not focusing yet on that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the actual face and eye tracking. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. And now we are in face and eye tracking. So let's go ahead and try that out. So let's first start off with the face and eye tracking, which is my favorite mode. And I'm gonna do the same test as I did last time. So right now it's just focusing on my face and my eye, but now I'm gonna put a product in front of it. So it should start focusing on there, move it a little bit closer, move it away, and then it should focus back on my face and my eye. Let's put that back up there. And now it's focused again. Go back down to my face, turn around, go back to my face. And so that is the face and eye tracking. And right now I'm just looking at my small monitor so it looks like it's focusing, but I won't be able to tell until put on my monitor. So let's go ahead and start over to the next mode which is the tracking. And now I'm trying out the tracking mode. Let's see how this works. Control up here, back down to my face, control up here, then back down to my face, and then controller back up here, and back down to my face. And now I'm trying out the 49 area, controller up here, back down to my face and now the controller is back up here back down to my face one more time and then back to my face so now I'm trying out the custom multi mode so controller face controller and back to face and then controller again and then back to face and now i'm testing out the one area mode uh, which is that box right there so let's go ahead and test this out right in front and then back to my face right in front and then back to my face and then one more time front and then back to my face and so the final mode is the pinpoint mode. It's on my face right now. So with the up there, then back down, controller in front, then back to my face, and then one more time there, and then back to my face. 
And so now what I'm doing is I'm going to try out the AFF mode. So let's go ahead and choose AFF. And we're going to go ahead and do the same exact test for all the different modes. So let's go ahead and try this out. So first off, we're actually testing the face and eye. And let's do the same test again. I have my controller up here. Focus. Back down to my face. Back up here. Focus. And then uh, back to my face. Try one more time. And then back down to my face right there. And now I'm trying out the tracking mode. Let's see how this works. Control up here. Back down to my face. Control up here. Then back down to my face. And then controller back up here. And back down to my face. And now I'm trying out the 49 area. Controller up here. Back down to my face. And now the controller is back up here. Back down to my face. One more time. And then back to my face. So now I'm trying out the custom multi mode. So controller. Face. Controller. And back to face. And then controller again. And then back to face. Okay, so now it is the one area mode. Here's the controller. You know, back to my face. Controller. Face. And then one more time. Controller. And then face. Okay, so that is my testing for all the various main modes using AFS versus AFF. Now, under AFF, I couldn't do the pinpoint. That option wasn't available. But overall, I was able to do the same test that I did whenever I was using the AFC or autofocus continuous. And the reason why I'm doing these type of videos where I simply just hold up an object like this controller up and then down. And then I'm not doing really other tests like what you most of the times you see like people do this. You know, or they'll move forward and back, or they'll walk away and towards the camera. It's because the main type of videos that I shoot are these type of videos where I actually do need the autofocus. Otherwise, I'm not using autofocus, but maybe later in the future, I will be using uh, different tests to do the autofocus as I get better uh, learning how to use this camera and all the functions that are available. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and look at this on a monitor and hopefully it looks good. And if it doesn't, I'll probably put a little caption or something uh, just like I did on the very last video. So that is my overall test of the autofocus uh, features using AFS and AFF mode. So hopefully this will turn out better than my AFC experience because with the whole AFC, it was constantly trying to focus, it's going back and forth. And I'm always gonna get that post setting thing due to the whole contrast base and DFD system that it has but it seems like with my initial texts that I've done before with AFS and AFS I get less of that posting mode you know and I get less of that trying to focus in and uh, on the front and on the back which is probably the worst thing the posting mode it's not as noticeable but whenever it's trying to focus on your face and then the background normally it loses focus and so if you had any thoughts on any of the autos focus uh, tests that i did today uh, whether you're using afc afs aff or some other mode be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you did want to see my previous uh, autofocus test using afc i will also leave that description area below as well so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to leave a comment share like and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content, audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.